Hut building is women's work. Posts brought from the woods are trimmed and set in holes dug in a circle. Then thin supple poles are tied around to secure the framework of the circular wall. Like most Herrero, this woman's teeth are filed to leave a notch. That's a tribal mark. Women even cut and carry in the heavy house frame posts themselves. But occasionally a husband will offer technical advice. Here a temporary platform is built inside the hut to facilitate work on the roof frame. Circles of thin branches are tied together, and these are then fastened to the roof frame to support the thatch, which will be added later. Thatching grass has been carried in from the field and allowed to dry on this framework. Now it's ready to be used on the roof itself. The green inner bark of certain trees makes good material for tying down the thatch. The hut is now ready for mud walls, and the milking pails are hung up even before the hut is finished. Clay and cow dung are mixed to make a cement for the walls. When this is prepared, it is placed between the posts, and the wall is built up so as to enclose the wooden framework. Here the wall is half finished, and in the distance, the husband's second wife is starting to build her hut. And here is the finished hut, after about two months of intermittent work. This woman prefers to make her hut of mud alone, without a framework, because this is an easier method.
But you admit that this hut will not last as long as one with a wooden framework.